Hello, everyone. Some of the clients here have been asking, Grant, what is WordPress capable of? And we were helping Heather Pincelli create a client portal for adoptions. And, you know, the idea of WordPress or a website as a blog for all of you guys has, you know, created some very dynamic, very good looking websites. And that's great. But did you know that you could actually solve problems, solve business challenges with your website? So real quick, just as a, a quick example is uh, a big concern that a lot of you expressed is, Grant, I do not have time to both write all the content you say I should write to keep my Google search result high and then also post on social media. There's a lot of ways to do this, but a real quick way is if you're logging to your website, and this is our example site, uh, then I'm going to show you how to do this super quickly. You can always go to your dashboard, go to plugins, go to install plugins, click add new, and these plugins supercharge your website. So one of the most popular ones for posting is made by WordPress itself called Jetpack. Looks like this. Just click install. Once it installs, then just simply click activate and your page will refresh. And now you've got Jetpack installed over here. So then if we actually click up this setup Jetpack or click uh, the Jetpack button, it'll refresh and give you a few options. So the first thing we wanna do is click setup and you can explore a lot of the options with Jetpack. And this is again, courtesy of WordPress itself. It's gonna ask you to connect. I'm gonna sign in as a different user. I'm gonna sign in as Grant. <clears throat> I'm gonna log in. Ooh. Once you've got the right credentials and you're logged in, you notice I'm logging in through WordPress and it's authorizing my account. And the reason is, is that it's reading your browser and if you're logged into uh, Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, it's got a few pricing plans, but we're gonna just start with free. It'll route you back to your website. And let's look at activating recommended features. It's gonna give you a little bit of information. You click, okay, got it. And now what? So now what we're gonna do is, it's uploaded a series of settings, which you can always turn on and turn off right here. But the one we're looking for is social sharing to save time. So if we look at settings and click sharing, this is a new link here. Click sharing. And now you can connect, safely connect, any of the major social media platforms you wanna connect. So if I click Facebook, for example, it's going to ask me about myself. And again, you wanna be logged into your own Facebook account or any of the Spark businesses like Spark Explorer, Spark Media, Spark Bookkeeping. Let's just say I wanna publicize my posts. I could publicize them to my personal account or I could publicize them to my page. And I'm gonna select my page, make this connection available to all users of this blog. This is for anybody that you might have staff with. For now, I'm gonna leave it unchecked for the example, but you're free to check that. I'm gonna click okay. And it says connected to Spark Sites. Now, whenever I write a new blog post right here, it'll automatically share to Facebook. So this is just another quick time-saving technique where your website can actually help solve a business problem. In this case, your business problem is uh, being too busy to post both the content you need on, to be posting on your website so that Google ranks you, as well as the content you need to be posting on your social media. You're double dipping by connecting right here. And there's a bunch of other sharing options you could add for this service as well. I do recommend you look over the settings for Jetpack, but that is just one of the ways Spark Sites is helping you save time, grow your business.